Hey guys, it's Heather with Diamonds and Dragonflies, and I am here today for an episode of Let's Talk About It. So, what are we going to talk about today? We are going to talk about the Paint Gem Floral Edition. I recently completed this kit. It is my first finish for May of 2024. Um, the funny thing with that is that I figured this would be the, the kit that I would be rushing to try and finish based on uh, how busy I am with the event. And I really wanted to be able to keep up with my doing a paint gem set a month for the entire year of 2024. And I didn't want to fall behind and I managed to do it, guys. Um, my mother-in-law coming to visit definitely helped. Uh, I was displaced from my art room because it turns into my daughter's bedroom when she comes home to visit. And she was here along with my mother-in-law who was visiting from California. And I lost use of my art room for five days. Well, during that time frame, I needed something that was portable that I could take downstairs to work on. And the paint jam set was the perfect remedy. So I did do a whole bunch of other... Um, little side projects that you guys will see with my uh, month in review later on or the beginning of June. But this was the first actual on canvas finish for me for the month of May. So I have a video that I will link below where I unbox and kit this up and talk to you about how I handle paint gems, etc. So I'm not going to sit here and bore you and go through all of that again. Uh, what I will say is that everything you do need comes in the kit for the paint gem. You get your canvases, you get your sticker sheet, you get your drills, you get your toolkit. So everything comes in this nice nifty little decorative box. It has this sleeve on it. When it is not a mystery kit, it will have an image of all of the finished products on the back with what they are. Um, that will come in very handy if any of you have the national parks, uh, which I do, but I have not started those yet because it gets a little, little confusing. So sometimes trying to figure out what they all are. So let's talk about it. So I have my handy dandy trusty logbook here. And like I said, this is my 22nd finish of the year. Can you believe that guys? I've done 22 kits since January 1st. That's like blowing my mind. Um, I think that number is greatly going to decrease. I don't know that I'm going to get, I've been averaging like five a month. I don't know if I'm going to be able to add three more this month. We'll have to see. Um, I'm getting close, but it, it's going to be tight. So I started this kit on May 11th, which I will add is, would have been my mother's 78th birthday. Um, unfortunately, we lost her uh, in 2011. So 13 years ago, I lost my mom. Um, she died very suddenly from septic shock. Uh, but I did start this on her birthday, and I did do the last canvas on the day after Mother's Day, May 13th. Uh, I added three crystals to bling this one out. The paint gems do not come with any specialty drills. So they are just straight up square drills. I actually don't know whether they're resin or acrylic, but either way, they are phenomenal drills. Like very minimal trash. Don't have a lot of issues with that with them. They are square. All of the paint gem sets are square. So it's also a nice way if you're a little leery about doing squares, grab a paint gem kit and give it a try and see what you think. Um, but I did add these three colors, 907, which was a green, 741, which was a yellow orange, and 550, which was a deep dark purple. Um, these uh, enhancement packs I actually got from Enablers Outpost. They had these three colors available in crystal on their website when I was buying a pen and I threw them in with my pen. So you don't always have to go to someplace like a DP with sparklers or diamondpaintingdrills.com. Um, a lot of some of the small shops will actually carry some or a lot of enhancements depending on the shop. So Enablers Outpost did have these three. I do not know whether they still do or not. I'm sorry, I do not have that information. Um, I should have looked that up before I started, but I did not. Um, but I did have these. I've actually ordered, I think, two or three sets of them that I have uh, when I've bought different a kit and some pens and stuff like that from Enablers Outpost. So we're, 
I was able to use those three. I do plan on framing this one. I don't frame all of my paint gem sets, but this set I am planning on framing. Um, I have not purchased a frame yet, but I will be doing some looking around on uh, Timu and Amazon for a frame. Uh, the drill count, this one came with 9,805 drills that I laid. The size, the images were approximately 3.1 by 4.7 inches or 8 by 12 centimeters. The number of colors, this kit had 30 colors in it and it came with 12 canvases. These two, all of this information changes from one kit to the next. For example, the mystery edition I did last month, there were 13,357 drills in that one, guys. So like 4,000 4, more drills than this one. And those were 4 by 6 or 10 by 15 centimeters as opposed to the 3.1 by 4.7. Uh, there were 46 colors in that edition versus the 30, but there was still 12 canvases. All of the paint gem sets run from either $34.90 or $39.90. They always have a sale going on, so you can always save at least 10% off your order, if not more. Um, a lot of times they have a 15% off, and I wait to see those, and then I go and I jump on it. Um, two kits will give you free shipping, so if you, if you purchase and you snag two kits, so let's say you get the 39.90 ones, so let's round up to 40 bucks, um, you get free shipping. I think it's 75 is the threshold. Um, it might be 70, I'm not sure, but it's somewhere in that realm, but you can grab two kits, free shipping, they just add tax, and so for about 83, $84, depending on what your tax rate is, you can walk away with two sets of paint gem editions, which is a really reasonably priced, at least in my opinion, it is very reasonably priced. Um, but then for example, if we go back to, hang on a second, I got to go back to March to my paint gem set. Here we go. The Mandala edition, that one had 12,000, 10 by 10 centimeters, 30 colors though still, and 12 canvases. So it all really has a large range. So let's take a look at them. All right, I'm going to flip it over so that I don't mess up the names of all of them. All right, and let's take a look. So this was the iris. This one had all three crystals in it that I chose to use. So there, here is the 907, and then we have the 550, and then the 741. I really think that the crystals really add a nice little zing and pop to the image. And we will compare it next to one that doesn't have any bling because I do have a couple that I did not have the appropriate colors for. So, all right, so there's our first one. I'm gonna lay that up there. Then here we go. Here's one that did not have any bling in it. Here is the rose. And I did not have any reds in crystals that would match. And the green that I used was not part of the foliage in this one. So as you can see, I mean, yeah, they're different colors, but I really think that if I would have had like this dark red in a crystal, that that would have added a really nice pop to the canvas, but it's still beautiful regardless. The next one is the White Lily. This one is really pretty. This one had the orange, the 741 and the 907. So this had two of the three colors. Then this one is, what is this one? This one is the Violet. This one had all three as well. We've got the green, we've got the purple, and we've got the yellow orange. So all three enhancements were in this image. Then we have the lavender. The lavender just had the purple in it and that is just gorgeous. I just really love how that emphasizes and makes a little pop for the lavender. So I think that really looks good. Then this one was really cool. This is the pink peony. It had some of the orange in the center. So as you can see, let me see, can I zoom this in any further? Yeah, we can, there we go. There you go, there you can see the crystal in the image. 
So that looks really cool. And it adds that nice little zing. I would have liked though to have had like the dark um, pink throughout here, but once again, I did not have anything that matched that. And I didn't wanna wait to order any. The next one, this is our Daisy. Hang on, let me, there we go. Now you can see the whole thing. This one had the green and the yellow orange in the center. That turned out really, really pretty. Then we have the Lotus. This had the green and the yellow in the flower. Once again, I wish that I would have had that dark pink. I think that really would have added a little extra zing to it. I like that word today, zing. Zing is my word today. Then we have our blue bells. This one I loved as well. Now this one didn't have the color to have in the orange. It was a different one, but it does have the green, but not the purple or the other. And I think it really adds a nice little emphasis to this one. Then we have our tulip. This one just had the green. Once again, I would have loved to have had the dark pink in crystal for this one. And these are just some suggestions for if you're thinking about doing this kit. This one had the orange and the green. This is our sunflower. This one I think is one of my favorites. I think it turned out so beautifully. The shine on this one is just so amazing. There you can really see the crystals at that angle. And then our last one is our poppy. And this one had the orange, the purple, and but no green. This one had the orange and the purple in the center. There you really get to see the, the crystal zing. I love it up here in there. I think that's so pretty. Oh, you know what? It does have some of the green. It's right there. So we do have some of the green. Just there and there. So two little spots of the green. So how I kitted this one up is I kitted it and I used my Harbor Freights and I don't quote unquote kit down. What I do when I am done with a paint gem set, give me one second so I can grab it. Not everything would fit on my desk. But as I showed in my kit up, I have this big 12 by 12 scrapbook container. Let me zoom you out, here we go. I have this big 12 by 12 craft uh, crafting scrapbook container and this has all colors from different paint gems that I've done so I don't bother taking the letters off or anything like that right now because they do are telling me what the DMC is in there I'm just trying to straighten them up it's not full because these are here so everything did shift a little so just fixing this up for a second but how I will kit this down is I will just take these and I will just add them to this scrapbook holder. As you can see, some drills escaped. But I will just move all of these over. And then when I decide what kit I'm gonna do in June, which I actually already have, so I'm going to be working on, my Patreon is not voting this time around. Sorry, guys. Um, I am going to be doing a kit that is going to be for a Christmas present. So I want to make sure I get it done in enough time to get it framed. Okay, so now my kit is full. So my box is full. It holds 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so 13 by seven is 91. So it holds 91 containers in here. Um, and then I have four extras. So these I will just leave in this box. I don't have another, um, I haven't started another one of these. Uh, as I get some more and I can fill it up, then I will swap those over to another one and then just add to it. But what I'll do is when I get my next edition, I will look for the DMCs. I will come in and pull all the DMCs that I already have kitted up, pull them out, verify that the die lots match, and then put the new sticker if the symbol is different. 
because the symbols do change. They do not stay the same. Sometimes you might get lucky and have the same symbol be the same as it was in another kit, but most of the time the symbol will be different. So you need to either just take the new sticker and put it over top, or you need to peel that one off and put a new one on, whichever works best for you. So, but that is how I kit down. And then look at that, I'm already done. I'm already kitted down. I don't have anything more to do. Easy peasy, no worries, no, nothing to freak out about or anything else. It's all done, it's all taken care of, and I'm good to go. So here we go, guys. Here is this beautiful flower edition from Paint Gem. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps. And it lets me know that you like the content that I provided for you today. If you made it all the way through this edition of Let's Talk About It, please leave me a flower emoji for the flower edition. And let me know in the comments whether or not you've had any paint gem sets, if you own any. If you have completed this one, let me know. I'm interested. They're, they just recently released a floral edition too. So if you weren't aware and you do have this edition or are interested in it, you can run on over to Paint Gems website, which I will have linked below, and you can purchase the floral edition and the floral edition too and add them. Put them both in your cart, no shipping, easy peasy. All right, guys, take care. And if you are new here and you love all things diamond painting, hit that subscribe button. It's totally free and I would love to have you. You can then hit the bell, which will notify you whenever I put up random videos, which I do all the time. And I hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day, week, month, year. And as I always say, without the darkness, we'd never get to see the stars. Till next time, guys. Bye.